necessary for a first time cadet to pass in order to be eligible to all sorts of privileges like to go out on weekends and term breaks. After the platoon commander it is the drill staff that has the most interaction with the cadets and both develop a healthy respect for each other. Military subjects like weapons training and field craft, map reading, minor tactics form a major part of the military training during the first term. Under the guidance of experienced weapons training instructors, the cadets learn to handle all types of small arms. They learn the art of using ground for concealed movement. The ability to move from one place to another with the aid of map, compass and other navigation aids is a vital ingredient of military training. At the Pakistan Military Academy, a great deal of emphasis is laid on this and cadets undergo extensive training to achieve proficiency in this field. Outdoor exercises during the first term mostly involve navigation and patrolling. Both the military and academic training demand that the cadets devote time for private study. This habit of regular study comes in useful later in their careers when they are likely to undergo a number of courses as part of their professional development. The ability to express oneself, clarity of thought and confidence are some of the qualities that the training in public speaking and debates seek to build in the cadets. From the shy and hesitant new entrant, it is a relatively confident young man who steps into the second term. He is no longer the junior most and is expected to display a degree of responsibility as well. The military training picks up pace in the second term, exposing the cadets to more advanced weapons and tactical training, map reading and other military subjects. Equipping the cadets with combat skills is a central part of the military training. The cadets are put through a series of combat-oriented activities commencing with boxing and assault course in the second term. During the third and fourth term, the cadets progress from basic to more advanced military training. They learn to handle and fire short-range anti-tank weapons and company mortars in addition to polishing their skills at marksmanship. Advanced tactical training consists of a series of indoor and outdoor exercises with troops in all major operations of war. The culmination of this comprehensive program of tactical training is an attack exercise with live firing and involving air force, aviation, artillery and armor as well. Combat training in the last two terms consists of endurance runs ending in assault course. The finale of this program is an exercise that tests the limits of physical and mental endurance of the cadets. Navigation marches retain importance in all terms. By the time the cadets complete the two-year course at the academy, they are expected to qualify in officer's standard map reading. A spell of adventure training during the term break does wonders for the self-confidence of the cadets. An essential feature of the third and fourth term is a greater responsibility is given to the cadets. They are now required to exercise command and control and also play an important part in grooming their juniors. Cadets with good all-round performances are awarded appointments in the platoons, companies and battalions. The assessment system that determines the merit of each cadet is a time-tested one 
and those given appointments rarely fail to measure up to the trust reposed in them. The appointment holders have privileges and responsibilities. Those found wanting in their responsibilities lose their appointments and their privileges. A great deal of emphasis is laid on physical development at all stages of the training. A tough physical training system ensures that the cadets develop the endurance, strength and stamina to withstand the rigors of military training at the academy. A variety of exercises and training tests make certain that the physical standards at the Pakistan Military Academy remain amongst the highest in the world for similar institutions. A central modern gymnasium facility apart from independent company gymnasiums helps the cadets prepare for the grueling physical regime at the academy. Sports are considered important and all cadets are expected to take part in sports activities. The fierce competition helps develop competitiveness and essential quality for a soldier. Character and personality development remains paramount in all activities at the academy and is viewed as the single most important element of the training system. The gentlemen cadets are expected to display the highest standard of morality and character. In this the cadets are aided and guided by the instructors and senior cadets. The mess life plays a major role in grooming the cadets. Besides the normal activity in the mess, formal dinner and guest nights allow the cadets to interact socially with their instructors and seniors. Participation in extracurricular activities is compulsory as part of personality development. The cadets have a choice to join any indoor or outdoor club in third and fourth terms. These clubs offer a variety of activities. The Pakistan Military Academy is known for its high standard of discipline. Whether on parade or off parade, the cadets are expected to display a high standard of personal discipline. The battalion adjutant is the custodian of discipline and no breach of regulations escapes his attention. Punishments for violation of rules are prompt and corrective in nature. While the dictionary meaning of the word ragging has negative connotations at the academy, this is viewed as a helpful activity in inculcating many positive attributes in a new entrant. An efficient administrative and support system ensures that both the trainer and the trainee are well looked after. The permanent staff is provided accommodation within the academy and all necessities of life are also available within the premises. A dedicated staff in the administrative wing works round the clock to make certain that the cadets are provided the necessary environments to relax off parade. A well furnished and modern accommodation facility provides the ideal setting for relaxation after the physically and mentally demanding training routine. The academy has a dedicated medical hospital to cater for the cadets and the permanent staff. An experienced team of bearers, many of whom have decades of exposures to the systems and traditions at the academy, look after the administrative course of the cadets and often guide the cadets on many aspects of traditions. Of all the traditions, the most enduring one has been one associated with the PMA road. This is the name given to the long sloping road branching off from the Karakoram Highway and going up to and through the center of the academy. All those who have passed through the academy